morning. I hope and I believe all of you are doing well. Uh, uh, is the audio visual all good, guys? Am I audible and visible? All right, so seeing so everything good now, let me tell you we have a, uh, this is going to be a very, very fast session basically to give you the crux of the important points in the topic of squint, at least the bare minimum, you know, the must know points. Uh, why am I telling this is going to be a fast session? Because uh, uh, 10 a.m. right in the next uh, half an hour, not even half an hour, 25 minutes, uh, we have another uh, class at 10 a.m. on the Unacademy app. That is the neuroradiology, uh, the comprehensive uh, concepts in neuroradiology, including anatomy, identifying CTMR, the pathologies, right? This is for the plus subscribers. Okay, this is for the plus subscribers. So 10 to 12, 1 to 3, I have those classes. And then for everyone, uh, the rest of the plan for the day is uh, 5 p.m., uh, right, we have 5 p.m., the special class on the Unacademy app. Unlock code is Dr. Nikita. And what we are going to discuss in the 5 p.m. is Ophthal again. It's going to be a quiz with the tricks, basically the easy tricks in ophthalmology like we had for ENT yesterday, MCQs with the mnemonics. Right, uh, so we have uh, of that. Uh, Srashti, which course? Uh, the neuroradiology is basically in the plus course, which is the course on central nervous system. Okay, I'll uh, share the link. If you are not able to find the link, I'll uh, share on the Telegram group after this class immediately, like just before starting. So this is going to be a very, very short session, 15 to 20 minutes. Whatever is remaining or if there is uh, any other in the topic of squint that you want to get simplified, please let me know in the 5 p.m. class. I'll try and include in the 5 p.m. class, okay? So 5 p.m. we have that and 8 p.m. or even not 8 p.m., let's say 7.45 p.m. on the Unacademy YouTube channel, uh, we have the session on top 15 mnemonics, Okay. The top 15 mnemonics, uh, different from the ones uh, that we have already covered in the recent KBMD sessions. This is going to be the top 15. Ka. This is basically part one. The part two is going to happen on the app. There's something called as the open house session, which is planned for 8.30 a.m. on the Unacademy app, right? What is open house? Open house is a podcast sort of thing, basically, where you listen to the educator rather than watching the educator, uh, right? So even the educator don't has to be, you know, does not has to be uh, camera conscious in the open house because it's just the audio that is going to be broadcasted, not the video. So you're basically going to hear uh, what mnemonics we are going to discuss, okay? The Unacademy Iconic subscribers can talk to the educator during open house, right? So that's the advantage that you would be having. Now, quickly starting with this topic of squint made easy. May quickly pele apo kuch important points patadu. What are very, very important points? Yes. Uh, give me a minute. All right, so quickly covering the points here, the easy tricks basically in the topic of squint that we have is, uh, now what are the types of squint? It could be a manifest squint, it could be apparent squint, or it could be latent squint. Okay, what do we mean by these terminologies? Let's understand the terminologies first. Apparent means, it is apparent. 
right? But actually it is not there. So the eye conditions, if you have the prominent epicanthal folds, the interpupillary distance is uh, large. In that cases, it looks like there's a squint, but actually there is no squint, right? So the prominent epicanthal folds or the increased interpupillary distance, that looks like a squint, but actually it's not a squint. Manifest, matlab it is obvious. It is obvious seen. When you look at someone, you see that one eyeball is deviated. You know, there is obvious deviation which is present and that's a manifest squint. Latent matlab, if you see someone, uh, the eyes look normal. But if you do test, we look at the tests that are done for latent and manifest, then it manifests. Okay, then you would be able to see the squint. Now, what is the terminology for manifest squint? Manifest squint is basically your tropia, esotropia, exotropia, hypertropia. Latent squint is your phoria. Okay, latent squint is phoria. So understand these are the basic terminologies. Tropia matlab dikhra hai, phoria matlab wo chupa hua hai. Remember, phoria is basically like phobic. That means it is afraid and it is hidden. Okay, tropia is prominent okay tropia is prominent you can see it uh, straight now what is the cover test and what is the uncover test okay what is the cover test and uncover test so remember the another trick here is upct that means in the state of uttar pradesh up there is a ct okay that is how you'll remember the so, uttar pradesh may ek ct that is up and ct that means uncover test is basically for phoria okay uncovered test is for phoria and cover test helps you in tropia okay cover test helps you in tropia so basically what happens here is in the cover test let's see if this is a patient you can see these eyes here ye normal hai yaha pe aisa hai okay first identify what kind of squint is this if this is the right eye and this is the left eye of the patient. Uh, this is the right eye or the left. This is the right eye and the left eye of the patient. So what is the manifest thing that we are seeing here? It is the right eye is deviated medially, right? The right eye is deviated medially. So what is this basically? This is right eye esotropia because it is obviously deviated. This is right eye esotropia, manifest squint, right? Now, in this test, if you want to do the cover test, which eye will you cover? Will you cover the right eye or will you cover the left eye? Remember, the normal eye is covered. Okay, the normal eye is covered. So, in the cover test, it is the normal eye which is covered. Okay, the normal eye is covered. So, when the normal eye is covered, this you will see trying to come to the center position. So, this one, this will move laterally, right, towards the center. That means laterally. So, if I tell you, okay, I am asking you this question, right, in the cover test, on covering the right eye, okay, on covering the right eye, the left eye moves laterally, okay, the left eye moves outwards, that is laterally. What do you think is what type of squint is this? When you are covering the right eye, the left eye is moving laterally. So, what kind of uh, uh, squint is this? Is it right esotropia, left esotropia, right exotropia, left exotropia? Is it esophoria, exophoria? What is it? On covering the right eye, the left eye is moving laterally. It is? Yes. Covering the right eye. Uh, this is the normal eye. The other eye is showing the deviation. So, the left eye moves laterally. So, remember that your deviation is opposite of the movement, right? The deviation is opposite of the movement of the eyeball. If it is moving laterally, that means the squint which is there is medially. That means this is left eye esotropia, not exotropia. It is left eye esotropia. Now, if it was a case of left eye exotropia, Avinandana, uh, Abu Avinandana who answered left exotropia. I tell you that there's a patient who's come with left exotropia. Which eye will you cover? You will cover the normal eye. That is the right eye. 
exotropia that means it was deviated laterally so on covering it will try to come to the center that means the left eye will move medially that means it will move inwards remember the movement is opposite of the squint okay the movement is opposite of the squint is this clear with everyone okay so that is what you need to understand for cover test so, in the cover test, you will cover the normal eye. Okay, you will cover the normal eye. What is uncover test? Uncover test is for phoria. Okay, uncover test is for phoria. That is the latent squint. So, what do you see in the uncover? Again, the same. The deviation will be opposite. Uh, let me see where do I have the image of the uncover test. Okay, so... Look at this one. This is the right eye. This is the left eye. The left eye is deviated outwards. So, this is left exotropia. So, you cover the normal eye. That is the right eye. And you see this eyeball will move inwards. Opposite of the squint. And so, when you remove this, it will go back to the squinting position. So, this is left exotropia. Okay. This is left exotropia. Look at the phoria now. Okay. Look at the phoria. Now, uh, what do you see here? There is no shift. You have covered the eye. You remove the cover. There is no shift. What happens in exophoria? Now, when you cover the eye, okay, when you cover the eye, suppose if there is a latent squint in this eye, you cover the eye. So, that eye gets the freedom. That, that eye gets the freedom to go into the squinting position. So, whatever is the squinting position, it goes into that. So, you see that on covering, it is going outside. When you remove the cover, it has to come to normal position, right? So, it will move inwards. So, you can see on removing the cover, the eyeball, it is moving inwards. That means actually it was exophoria. So, it has gone out, it had gone out and then it is coming inside, okay? Yes. So, uh, this is your concept. Basically, remember that the deviation is opposite of the movement. If they tell you that the eyeball moves medially, that means actually it had deviated laterally. It is exo. If the eyeball moves outwards, that means it was deviated medially. <coughs> Excuse me. Is this understood by everyone? So basically, phoria matlab, it is latent squint. That means it is phobic. It is afraid. Jab parda khula hua hai, cover nahi hai, it tries to be normal. Okay? Sabke saamne, without the cover, when the eye is naked, the phoric eye tends to be normal. Jab parda laga diya, so behind the scenes, there is, it goes into deviation. Right? All the deviation comes. Uh, is this clear? Now see, in the uncovered nuzat, because it is a phoria, you don't know which eye is normal and which is abnormal. That is why you try to do in both and see ki kisme after removing the cover, you see it is coming back to the normal to the center. Okay. So, uncover test. Basically, in phoria, when you uncover, you see that from the deviated position, it's trying to come back to the normal. So, DOOM basically stands for deviation is opposite of the movement. If they tell you that the eyeball is moving medially, that means it had actually deviated. The squint is lateral. That means it is exotropia. If they tell you that the eyeball is moving laterally, that means if the eyeball is moving laterally, that basically means that it was esotropia, medially deviated. Can you see in this image here? Look at this image. Cover karne pe, okay, cover karne pe, you can see that it has deviated out. When you remove the cover, it tries to come back to the normal position. So, dunya ke saamne, normal hai sab, parda lagaya, then you see the deviation, right? In the uh, uncover, is it, is it clear with everyone? So, basically, if they tell you ki on uncovering the movement is seen, on uncovering. So, remember UP, that is phoria. If they tell you on covering the one eye, the other eye is deviated. Right, then it is your cover test. Like you see here. Abhi ye to aapko obvious dikh raha hai ki haa yaa pe squint hai. Ye exotropia hai. Normal eye ko cover karo. You will see that it tries to come to the normal. Right, the center position. You remove the cover. This eye again will go to the deviated position. Right. So this is your tropia. 
Now, why do you want to do the cover test when it is a manifest quint? Why do you want to do the uh, cover test when it is a manifest quint? So, basically to differentiate between manifest versus apparent. Kuch kuch mein jaise hamko apparently dikhta hai but ideally it's not a squint. So, when you do this cover, uncover test, if there is no movement of the eyeball, that means it's an apparent squint. Actually, there is no squint, right? So, basically it helps you differentiate manifest from apparent as well. Now, what are the causes of the apparent squint? Look at this one. These eyeballs, they appear to be medially deviated. Pseudostrabismus, apparent squint. It is because of the prominent epicanthal folds. Wide interpupillary distance looks like exotropia. So, this is basically apparent squint. There is ideally no squint. There will be no movement of the eyeball on the cover test that you will see. Okay. Okay, let's go to this one. Now, look at this image and tell me what do you think is this? Is it a phoria? Is it a tropia? Or is it an apparent squint? What do you think is this? So, this is in the center. This you can see is deviated outside there is something else also to help you identify anyone what do you think is this very good this is the exotropia manifest dikh raha hai laterally deviated hai this is right exotropia not phoria phoria matlab aapko aise nahi dikhega Right, you will have to do that uncover test. This is obvious. This is exotropia. Okay, this is exotropia. Can someone tell me what degree of exotropia it is? If you look at the image very carefully, if you want, I'll zoom in the image to show you this image here. Can you tell me, can someone tell me the degree of exotropia in this patient? Very good, Varun. This is 15 degrees. Why is it 15 degrees? If you look at the image very carefully, look at the light in the center, right? Ye wale aak mein pupil ke center mein hai, which is normal, right? Yaha pe you can see the light is at the pupillary margin. It's at the pupillary margin. When it's at the pupillary margin, it is 15. When it is at the limbus margin, this is 45 degrees. Beach mein agar hai, to 30 degrees. So 15, 30, 45. So, this is 15 degrees. Okay, this is 15 degrees. Outside, Avinanda, outside, out matlab exo. Exo matlab going out. Right? Exo matlab going out. So, this is at the pupillary border and that is why, okay, this is at the pupillary border. Are you guys able to see that? Yes. This is at the pupillary border. So, this is 15 degree right eye exotropia. How much diopters is it? How much diopters is it? 1 degree is equals to 2 diopters, right? So, 15 to the 30 diopters, okay? It is 30 diopters. Remember this, 1 degree is equal to 2 diopters. That is your uh, 15, matlab, 30 diopters ho jayega. What test will you do in this patient? Cover, uncover test, kaise karoge? Which eye will you cover? So, you will cover the left eye, okay, you will cover the left eye and you will see that the right eyeball will move inwards, right, the right eye will move inwards. That tells you that this is apparent squint or manifest squint, this is manifest squint, this is not an apparent squint. Is this concept clear, understood by everyone? Yes, so remember the degree of the squint, this is 15, this is 30 and this is 45. 15, 45, 15 at the pupil margin, 45 at the limbus margin. Okay, 45 at the limbus margin. Okay, so this is right eye exotropia. Uh, ye, ye aapko dikhra already, right? This is right esotropia. This is right hypertropia. Hyper matlab going up. Okay, this is your right eye exotropia. Someone at Avinanda had asked. Okay, this is right hypotropia. And what is cyclo deviation due to the oblique muscles basically? 
okay right look at uh, this one uh, let me okay look at this one what do you think is this i uh, this patient showing anjali we already discussed what is uh, the difference between exotropia and phoria phoria you will not see normally if when the patient you know the eyes get tired there is fatigue there is exhaustion tab phoria dikhne lagta hai otherwise normally nahi dikhta hai jo aapko obvious dikh raha hai at rest yes very good noza this is left eye esotropia what degree of esotropia is this what degree of esotropia is this so you can see the left eye is deviated inwards so this is the a uh, left eye esotropia eso matlab convergent going inside and what degree it is what degree is it 45 degrees absolutely right okay it is 45 degrees okay you can see that it is at the limbus okay this is the limbus ka margin so 45 degrees jitna hai theek hai ye patient mein cross diplopia hoga ki uncrossed diplopia hoga because this is esotropia remember exotropia x is crossed that means it has crossed diplopia okay it has crossed diplopia esotropia will have uncrossed diplopia okay remember cross exo exo will have the crossed diplopia what test do we do that helps us to identify cross diplopia uncrossed diplopia you have the medox rod test right you have the medox rod test you see the line and you see the dot same side pe dikh raha hai ki cross ho ke dikh raha hai the medox rod test okay what is the probable diagnosis based on the given image because the eyeball is deviated inside that means the lateral movement is gone abduction is gone the lateral rectus lr6 so it is sixth nerve palsy okay this is sixth nerve palsy So this is a patient with six nerve palsy, which will have esotropia, like you are seeing here. And to which side the patient will turn the head? The patient will turn the head to the right side or the left side? Where will the patient turn the head? Right side or the left side? Now, because the right lateral rectus is paralyzed, so this field I am not able to see with my eye. okay this field i am not able to see with my eye so i have the option of turning my head and seeing right so that it will be turned to the same side of the action of the muscle it will be turned to the right side understand the concept kyunki ye dikh nahi raha hai to main turn karke dekhungi right then i'll be able to see so it will be turned to right someone asked how to differentiate between manifest apparent and tropia apurva girish that is what we said apparent and tropia You differentiate by the cover test. अगर apparent होगा तो कुछ eyeball का deviation movement नहीं होगा If it is actually a squint which is showing, it's a tropia. You cover, you will see the movement of the eyeball, right? So that is how you can differentiate uh, apparent from manifest. All right? So uh, guys, unfortunately, time seems to fly when we discuss these topics full of concepts and the cheat codes and the tricks. but as i said i have a class at 10 am on an academy so seems difficult ki hum ye aage you know cover kar payenge kafi sare jo cheeze hain don't worry i'll give you the tricks of all of this which is remaining uh, in the today's 5 pm class we will continue this okay so i'll make you an expert each one of you in the park three step test also the other test in the squint right the other important mcqs and the flash cards including some important uh, fundus images ये सब हम पांच बजे करने वाले हैं ठीक है सो दिस वाज वेरी वेरी क्विक आई होप एटलीस्ट फ्यू कॉन्सेप्ट्स लाइक द कवर टेस्ट अनकवर टेस्ट द कॉर्नियल रिफ्लेक्स व्हाट इज फोरिया व्हाट इज ट्रोपिया हैज बीन अंडरस्टूड राइट दैट इज क्लियर हाउ दिस इज सिक्स नर्व पॉलिसी शुभ आई बॉल कहा डिविएटेड है इनवर्स डिविएटेड है ना दैट मीन्स ये ओवर एक्टिव हो रहा है मीडियल वाली की स्ट्रेंथ ज्यादा है ये लैटरल नहीं जा पा रहा है राइट बिकॉज दैट मीन्स द अपडक्टर इज पैरालाइज lateral rectus is paralyzed lateral rectus is supplied by the sixth nerve medox rod test definitely it will be covered in the evening uh, right your prism bar cover test medox rod test the hess chart all of this the squint wale will be covered in the evening class okay with more concepts 
so see you at 5 pm the unacademy plus subscribers you can join in for neuro radiology everything about oh. neuro radiology so starting in the next two minutes it's already 10 two minutes may start karte hai. and everybody for the free class you can join at 5 pm and then 7 45 pm on the youtube channel okay uh thank you everyone goodbye take care and keep studying keep revising and keep winning thank you